Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Last Epoch, and uh, this is what uh, we're gonna call the Mace Windu build. Let's get after it. I am the Sentinel. I spent my youth working the forges under Solara, helping to arm the holy armies of Raya. When I came of age, I was conscripted into the Golden Army and sent to war, wielding the very weapons I helped create. What I found on the battlefield was chaos and the slaughter of innocents. I deserted Raya's army, refusing to be a part of this destruction. Now I travel the land of Eterra, warning its people of Raya's wrath. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my ring app. Someone is driving down the street, apparently. Alright, so this is a sentinel. We got a sword and shield. This is a melee type character. Uh, I'm going to tell you right off the bat that this character, for me, feels a lot better early game than the Acolyte did. So take 12 si swings of my wand or staff or whatever you start off with of the Acolyte to kill these little things. It's a couple of swings and we're moving on. And that's kind of how you want a low level area begin the game to feel so it just feels a little more natural to me traveler our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks Raya's war has reached our lands and we are in need of aid as keepers we avoid conflict we're dedicated to the goddess a terror he wishes to destroy us and steal all right so a little background Raya's like the big bad guy that is attacking everyone and uh, that's who you're going after. I assume you're gonna fight him in end game. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't gone through any end game yet. Uh, but I plan to uh, once 1.0 release happens, or hopefully before that. Right now, I'm trying to get through all the classes and uh, see what I like best. So when you start off, you don't get into your uh, mastery classes until level 20 and that's when you unlock uh, those masteries and you can start putting points into them so we don't have any void knight uh, skills yet that swinging thing uh, that's called warpath pretty awesome Is that warpath no I think I'm mixing that up with my prime list Might be. We'll get to it. I really should write all this stuff down. Here's your first little boss. Um, this definitely... Uh, I think it took like a little bit longer than uh, with my minions. Just because with minions I could overwhelm him and stick him in the corner. But feel free to check out that video and do a side-by-side -side comparison if you want. I've got... Uh, all the way through the campaign with this character uh, and I did it with four less levels than my Acolyte so if you're gonna compare a level to level strength um, I'd say that uh, based on my uh, anecdotal uh, data set here that the Sentinel Void Knight uh, that I built uh, was much stronger than my Acolyte Necromancer Of course, uh, we could factor in the fact that I've already played it once through, so I kind of know what to expect and more or less understand some of the boss mechanics, simple as they are, uh, a bit better. Oh, and it's important when you're playing this game too, don't be stingy with your shards. You know, every few areas, you know, go ahead and craft up whatever the best armor is you have at the time add some some suffixes and some prefixes if you can if not I wouldn't worry too much about it you know you're not gonna really worry too much about gear until you get into end game but any little bit helps uh, I found that you know adding any kind of attack uh, modifiers and then in certain areas you're gonna find that uh, the enemy has certain elemental Attacks, whether it's necrotic damage, void damage, fire, electric, 
cold damage. Um, depending on where you're at and how you build your character, you can adjust your resistances to those areas. Uh, it's not super important, but it does help to survive an area if you're playing a squishier character. Oh yeah, so, sorry, that's Rive. I think the other one's Warpath, that first one. But yeah, this is early on. Uh, this is the skill tree for Rive, so you haven't seen this before. Every ability that you can specialize in has its own tree, so all of the abilities you can do this with as you unlock them. You can obviously put whatever abilities you want that you've unlocked through the levels, uh, but not all of them uh, are specialized. This is a, I believe this ability is Warpath. Um, it really allows you to move around uh, quite a bit while you're still attacking. It's not as strong as some other abilities, but it's decent. Um, I found that if you've got like an enemy that likes to like shoot beams in a circle, it's a good way to kind of like trace around them and still attack them without having to worry about having to move, attack, move, attack, that kind of thing. Yeah, so you can see I'm using a, a two-handed axe at this point. Um, that was a unique I got from the Acolyte. Uh, it's a decent axe. It's not like the best, but it was certainly an improvement over what I had previously. Definitely helped uh, getting this character uh, through uh, the section quite a bit sooner until I got a, a better sword. Oh, and I did uh, I did some add up on how long it took me to get through the campaign just based off of uh, my recordings for this playthrough. And let me pull that up. I got a little spreadsheet. Yeah, so the Sentinel took me 16 hours, 7 minutes, and 19 seconds to play through uh, the entire campaign with all the side quests. And there's probably an hour or two of just downtime on those recordings because I'd sit and walk away and it would log me out but I'm still recording. Actually, I take that. Yeah, there's actually two hours minimum that I know that I just sat with my computer recording on one of those videos and it's just blank. Um, so take that for what it is. We'll just call it an even 15 hours uh, to get through the entirety of the campaign. Um, I'm not sure if that's a lot of time or if that's average, uh, but that's about what it's taken me for both characters. Uh, so I'm going to average them out. I'm doing Primalist right now, so we'll see how long that takes. Oh, this is the Sentinel passes. As you can see, I have not unlocked. So you got Force Guard, Paladin, Void Knight. Um, I chose Void Knight. Because the sounds and abilities look cool. It's sort of like a time portal type uh, thing so you can get like uh, echoes uh, which Stay means back. that a lot of videos that have echoes they'll basically spawn you back in time and you have a, an echo of yourself doing attacks which is really cool so I think this is one of the uh, the bosses that does like a beam attack you see where I can travel around and still attack them Yep, seeing this film I'm talking about? So he's going in a circle. I can still move while I'm attacking him in a circle. So, just good little uh, ability to, to have with you. And then when you specialize that out, you can add void damage to it, and it changes it to purple. Uh, pretty cool effect. Obviously, you can extend the range, attack speed, damage, all that kind of stuff. I don't believe I had, oh yeah, I had the, like, the throwing knives and I chose not to use them. The beginning of this guy, you start off with, like, a hammer throw ability. I'm sure somebody likes that. I didn't find that mechanic very fun at all. It's very slow and sluggish. I'm not sure if you spec that out and build to that, that 
if it gets any better. It just didn't seem very fun to me. I'm doing a, a melee build and I don't really care to throw anything. I want to hit them with a really big weapon. Yeah, so these early bosses are pretty, pretty simple. I'm really looking forward to playing some endgame and getting uh, some big old challenges in there and getting some, some cool gear. Oh, and here's our big greatsword. And that, see that? That's the uh, the void damage added to our uh, spinning attack with our big sword. Uh, and this ability works a lot better with swords because you get a blade to the world. It looks pretty cool. And then once you get echoes of this, then echoes of myself in the past or whatever will also spin behind me, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you see that little echo thing. I don't know if you caught that. Um, we also have um, the swords, uh, which are pretty awesome. They act like tiny little minions that just attack on their own. I think I can proc like four of them. But cool, helpful ability. And that is Void Beams. That is uh, my favorite ability so far for the Void Knight. I like Echoes a lot too, so basically I can attack from on the ground and up above and then spin attack so you can kind of attack from like all angles with a void knight which is is pretty awesome so obviously when you're building something as specific as a void knight you want to stack on void damage oh and here is dreamthorn this is what makes this my mace window build Purple lightsaber, purple sword, come on now. That's what we're going with. I'm still playing with this. I did not replaced this one. It's a, it's a good sword. Plus it looks cool. Yeah, and so these are part of a set. Uh, three pieces in the set and you get added modifiers. And now you can see uh, we went pretty ham into Void Knight. This is not Void Knight, this is just a regular s Sentinel passage tree. Showing you some things. Yep, there's all kinds of stuff. We kind of just went sort of for, you know, the main juice. And then use this one over here for that, yeah. Thought about going through like each and every one of these, but that's gonna require me to go like back through and do what I did yesterday with the loot filter and kind of just record uh, myself talking about it while I'm playing. Cause I don't do this. Like I'll play the game and then I cut up a bunch of the the gameplay and then talk over the top of it. So you'll have to excuse me if this is not like some super awesome scripted stuff. Um, someday I'll get to that. But right now I'm just enjoying playing games and then late night after everyone goes to bed, I do these voiceovers. So it seems like I'm being really quiet or you're not really getting the like I'm really excited about this game vibe it's uh because I can't yell uh in the middle of the night when everyone's trying to sleep I do have a fairly loud voice so trying to be quiet is a difficult task for me all right at some point here we are gonna go to the void night tree promise I kind of wanted to show you guys all this so I I don't know, I'm just hanging out. See, this is where all that like extra time comes from. And this is cut from probably three hours of video. So you're gonna see from like the beginning of the game till a little past middle of the game. That sounds about right. And then I'll do another video for tomorrow. And that will be probably end game for the, the Void Knight, or not end game, but uh, end of the campaign. Oh, always need health, always need regen. Health regen is great. Yeah, we went with swords, so I don't I think we're trying. We'll try to get to that. But here's the void knight tree. Yeah, rot rebels are kind of neat. Echoing strikes, that's the one where they uh, will uh, attack after you, which is pretty cool. I haven't done any of like the recall stuff. Anything that like gives adds echoes and any kind of uh, 
Void damage added is good stuff. Let me check those out. Yeah, I'm kind of reading the ones that didn't do. Yeah, time rot's a lot of damage over time on uh, on this character. As you can see, I haven't touched anything on the bottom there. Yeah. Power on blood, increased damage on recent kill. To the point. Damage if you kill the any recent enemies. I mean, yes, yeah, so if you kill something, you kill. We do more damage. I don't know why you need void resistance. I feel like that's sort of wasted uh, addition because any kind of resistances, most I think you can get with gear. Uh, so I don't feel like that's like really necessary to put uh, on your passives unless you like fighting some very specific boss that's really hard and you need all the help you can get. Um, but I think in adding any resistances out of your uh, passives tree is is just wasted. Like go for the damage, go for the abilities proccing, and you know the chance hit stuff. You know anything that's gonna increase your attack speed, uh, healing if you're that kind of character. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think the resistances are necessary at all. You can definitely craft that into your gear if you need it. Yeah, and if you're a melee build, health and armor super important because you're going to be close up in battle, so the greater you can create any kind of survival, the better. Oh, this uh, build is, is mana heavy, so get as much mana as you can Handle mana regeneration, those are good things for Void, void Knight as well. I'm not sure how much longer this is, guys. Yeah, it, like I said, you see lots of damage. Yep, we went with uh, more Void damage, so more damage, more better. Just like any other ARPG, if you can kill something before it hits you, then that's probably uh, the best way to go. I think that oftentimes the best... Uh, Defense is a uh, good offense. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the op opposite of sports. Best, best uh, defense is a uh, overwhelming offense. Kill them before they kill you. You don't take any damage. I tried Shield Rush. Like just as like a, a test ability. So anytime before I spec into something. I'll like try it to see how it feels. So you don't want to like. I mean you can always respec into a. Different specialization, you can change your specializations, you can kind of despecialize and then you'll have a, like a minimum skill points that you can get back into to catch up. Um, but yeah, try them out, see how they feel. If they don't feel good to you, don't use them. Because there's certain abilities that will, depending on how you like to play, uh, blend well with each other, like a movement speed into, you know, uh, like a movement skill into something that stuns or pulls enemies in and then knocks them does a big AOE damage thing those are good things to combo together you gotta find it like what works for you I'm pretty sure we go with Abyssal Echoes tried that one it's basically a I think it's damage over time thing and uh, creates more and more echoes and it seemed like the best one Anomaly was like a travel back through time thing devouring orbs just sort of float around didn't didn't wasn't fun. And all these defensive things. Yeah. Any kind of like shield rush thing. There's like some rampage things when you get like move to run over things. You kind of get locked into that path. And then you can't like stop. Or otherwise you stop the ability and then you lose the you know, the momentum in the in the ability. So you're going to lose damage, you're going to lose the cooldown. You might just completely miss. I've had that problem with the, the Druid. Um, when you, I think it's going to Rampage and the bear runs on the ground through people. As long as you got a good line, it's great. But if not, you're just going to run through them. And if you cancel the move, you're just going to waste it.
So I'm not sure when that speed, that spin attack like goes off on its own and I'm not spinning. If that's a bug or not, or if that's an echo. I love void beams. It's like an instant kill. Yeah, this is a cool one. Missile echoes. So I'll use this to do damage uh, underneath their feet. And then I hit them with the void beam uh, to do damage over time from the air. And then I'm going to hit them straight on uh, with my uh, melee attacks. Not sure what I was thinking here. When I cut through this, probably being distracted. Yeah, here we go. This is this is the life of a distracted dad trying to figure out and talk to people. Oh, yeah, area, good way to go. Uh, yeah, chaining is cool. And there's one that removes the chains. I think it makes the area. Bigger. I don't think I unchain it though. So I like the chain effect. Never hurt to have too much fire. I don't remember if I did that one. I don't think I do that one. Yeah, we slow them down. Slow the stack. They slow and you get damage over time. That's a good one. Oh, and I think any time you increase any... So other abilities stack on other abilities. So if, if you have um, any like spell damage adders or physical or you know whatever elemental damage um, that adds to other abilities damage so all of the you know if you got melee attacks or multiplicative or whatever then that's going to be multiplicative over other things so it's important to when you go through these uh, skills read read through what you can um that way you know how things interact because depending on what you do here there might be abilities uh or you know s skill points that you can spend on different attributes that will affect another uh, attribute that, or specialization that you have. And so you can use them in tandem with each other to create, you know, an X factor of damage when you combine the two abilities. Hope that made sense. I wouldn't stumble over that too much. I was watching this earlier and I was trying to figure out why he wasn't taking damage. But I think I just had to like kill all the other ones before he started taking damage. That might have been what it is. Because it, it looks like he doesn't have any health. This is like the Phoenix Rising thing. Spin away, see that thing down there? That was one of those echo attacks. I can get up to like two or three of those at a time. Depending on how long you go, I think the more longer you hold it, it's like two or three seconds that you're in that, uh, that it'll proc that. Yep, so just keep, keep adding that void damage. Or chains more better. And, you know, play, playing a primalist is, is fun, but I really want to go back uh, to this character and start building this one, because this one's a lot of fun. See, the more I go back and watch these things, there's more things that I want to try and see. And as I'm looking at this, there might be things that I want to change. Um, 
great part of the game is the respecking. I think I've said that before, but I'll say it again. It bears repeating. Respecking in this game is, is fantastic. Uh, it's real simple. You want to respec, you just respec it. There's a little bit of a penalty, I guess. Like, you, you will lose skill points and you have to build back up to it. But there's an accelerate XP gain. Yeah, see this on the top left-hand corner, level 9, accelerate XP gain until level 14. Uh, that's because that's like the minimum level to get it closer to all the other ones. Uh, so you won't ever like have one like so far behind that it's like insurmountable issue. Uh, you can get pretty quick that quick get that back pretty quickly if you do respec. Yeah, we are gonna add um slow points later. But yeah, I, uh, I really do appreciate everyone coming to watch. Um, I think, really, I'm going to start leaning into the ARPG community because it seems like a lot of people like watching this kind of stuff because there's quite a bit to talk about. I mean, obviously, there's a good amount of drama uh, with all these games. I think it's, it's manufactured drama for content, but, yeah, it's there. Um, and a lot of people like to fanboy certain games um i i like arpgs um there's every game's got its issues and every game has uh, something somebody likes and people are willing to die on a hill for but that's not me i'm, I'm trying to find the, the best in most things i mean some games uh are are lacking uh where others are succeeding, and that's fine. That's good. You know, you hope that uh, those other games like uh, get the picture. But I should say the games, say the companies, or the publishers buying the games. But that's okay. I'm gonna wrap it up. It looks like um, I appreciate it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Um, like I said, this is my Mace Window build. I think uh, the Void Knight was heavily inspired. Uh, by one of our favorite Jedi Knights. And uh, that's what we're going for here. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you come by for the next one. Uh, and uh, I hope you check this out. I'm going to keep you know, pushing things that I think are definitely worth checking out. Uh, PoE. Obviously, I'm really excited for PoE too. Last Epochs will be a lot of fun. I'm also looking forward to playing uh, Rogue and uh, Mage after I finish Primalist. So we're going to keep on going. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>